Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic. Well, before I begin um, today's discussion, I would like to thank you all for 300 subscribers to my channel. And um, I am glad that my channel is growing organically. Um, quantity mat matters, but never over quality. And I'm glad that um, you are so loyal and um, you're helping me to grow. So this is to you, to um, your trust in me. And um, so, yeah, thank you very much. Indeed, gratitude. Now, coming back to today's topic, and it is when you judge, you lose the power to experience a person for who he or she is. I'm going to share with you a personal experience which I experienced yesterday. And uh, I was amazed as to how our cognitive biases, you know, sort of uh, doesn't allow us to experience a person in totality for who he or she truly is. Hello effect, horn effect. Sometimes when we experience the positive side, we make a judgment and conclude that this person is like that. On the other hand, we make a opposite of that when the person does something wrong, something bad, which is not in tandem with what we believe to be true. And then we, you know, put them in boxes as um, not so good. Um, we all actually judge, you know, whether we agree to it or not. We do judge. Um, we have these um, conscious as well as unconscious judgments that we hold about people, uh, things, brands, products. And that, in a way, helps us to make some conclusions and then helps us to make a decision and um, sort of um, arrive at something. But it also limits us from experiencing a person in totality. Now, I'll talk about person because um, uh, human beings is just more than um, one experience or, you know, we cannot club them as good, bad, right, wrong, great, not so great. If we do that, we are actually limiting our experience of them. Now, coming to my experience. So yesterday, I had been to the cobbler. Uh, the one who repairs shoes and all. Uh, there was some small um, damage and I went there. As he was doing it, uh, I was in a hurry. So I told him that you please make it so that I can take it and go. So I, I waited there. As I was waiting, um, a beautiful girl, she came with a bag. And again, to the judgment, what she looked like is um, as if she worked in a, you know, corporate and um, was in a good uh, sort of uh, position, well-to-do, uh, looked like that. See, all these judgments, the cognitive things that we are making. Uh, and then she asked him that there's some problem in that laptop bag in the zip, the small thing, and can he repair it? He said, okay. So he took it, he paused my work and he took that bag and sort of he did something that was broken he mended it he stitched it and then gave it back to her she said I don't have um, change and I asked him so he she didn't offer him the payment but just said I don't have change and he was like um, okay and he let her go and she went away I was actually surprised <laughs> amazed and what not? I asked him, this is your livelihood, right? He said, yeah. Why didn't you take the money from her? He said, uh, she had already said that I don't have it. I don't have the change. I said, but uh, Paytm is there. So he was saying that, um, he said in Hindi, Madam, like the Paytm thing is there. Despite of that, she didn't pay. And uh, I don't feel like telling these people again and again that this is what they have to do. It is their common sense that they should do this. I was listening to him in wonderment. And um, 
then the righteous person in me the activist in me woke up and told him that you know next time please do this ask for it do not let it go like this because some people they do not and they will take advantage all those things which came to my mind and i told him and he kept on listening and that moment i realized who is more richer even if he might seemingly look like a poor person and no offense to his work or the way he chose us to leave uh, live his life but who is more richer in terms of character in terms of um, virtues in terms of um, uh, being like who you are being to a person i think the cobbler because a person despite of the neediness if he can let go this he is showing his character and on the other uh, other side the girl is showing another side of her but we usually what we do when we um uh, make a conclusion when we look at a person we see that okay this person is really like prim proper you know this we make a judgment about them and put them in boxes when we look at a poor person we make a judgment about that and we put them in boxes usually we do that but then we lose out on experiencing the person in true sense same again i have no offense to what had happened there but again i'm not making judgment about the uh, female who did all this thing but um all i'm saying is judgment doesn't allow us to experience a human being in totality when i was there in front of the cobbler he taught me life lessons which probably a book wouldn't be able to teach me or even a video or maybe a corporate leader may not be able to teach me i learned something from him what is kindness what is empathy what is compassion and most important of all um being who he is despite of all odds and so i say i leave you with this inquiry Where are you making judgments which is limiting your experience of people and if so what would it take to change it in my opinion just being aware whenever you make a judgment and hold back your judgment get curious know the person really care to know the person give that time and effort to understand and that's when connection happens and that's when we get to see the brighter side of the world the brighter side of human beings probably even when i talk to that female maybe i'll get to see her brighter side in some situations so i am not concluding with any judgment or cognitive bias but keeping it open so that i can welcome miracles in my life and in the world have a great day